I do not recommend the company. I wish I could have. When I joined Westside, I was hoping that it would be my forever company. And they also give you $2,000 per recruit that you recruit to the company. So I was certainly looking forward to taking advantage of that and being able to get on YouTube and tout what a wonderful company it was. However, after the first month, I knew that it was not the company that I was hoping that it would be. The biggest thing for me about Westside is I did not get the miles. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Welcome to the MTC 21 on the Lockout Men Podcast Show, where we make the calls for you guys. I'm Lockout Men, and today's call is to West Side Transport out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Their phone number is 800 677 5627. Riverside Transport. <laughs> For everybody is a medium-sized company with a small company feel. They appreciate their drivers, mechanics, office staff who work so hard to make every day run as smooth as possible. The family atmosphere was established over 40 years ago by the Vault family. Now, I'm not sure if I'm not pronouncing that right. Vault family? Vogue family? is V- as in Victor, O as in Oscar, G as in got, and T as in time. Somebody in the comments below, let me know what, what, what that name of the company is or the family is. Um, to this very day, they is still family owned and family run. Uh, the business began as a salvage grain spills at the train yards using just a couple of pickup trucks and some shovels. Man, that's that's a hell of a start. As the company grew, the vault company, I mean the vault, the vault, the vault family added semi-trailers and hopper trailers to accommodate their customer needs. At this time, y'all, we about to go to the bit board and see what. Uh, West Side Transport is all about. So on the bit board, they got the website is truly nice. Their website is westsidecareers.com. Right now they have about four to five lanes available for you guys to check out. Their first lane is the Elite Regional. Elite regional drivers equals great miles along with great pay. The elite regional, you're, el you're elite and you know it. Elite to west side transportation are those who saddle up and make sacrifices and are dedicated to the open road. There are no challenges you can't hit. No job you won't complete. You are elite. You are the last cowboy of the West Side Transport. What they offer for you guys to stay out for a long time is a $6,000 sign-on bonus, 58000 58K a year. That's between 50 and 60 cents CPM. Uh, 1000 or $1,100 to $1,500 per week. Is that good? Uh, easy pass, schedule flexibility, 99% no touch freight, uh, tractor trailers, trailers age are just about a year and a half old. Keep you out of the shop and running miles, 401k will company match up to 6%. Full benefits, that's medical, dental, and vision, driver app to receive all driver information on your phone. All they need is a class CDL with six months. Now, as far as as far as the phone goes, I just want to let you guys know you should get something, something for the use of your phone. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So they have another, let's see, they have regional 
Prime. Regional Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. Regional Prime strikes a fair balance of work and life with Regional Prime by Westside Transport. Uh, nah, 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 nah. West Side. Nah, nah. You are guaranteed to be home every weekend. Now, mind you, if you're home every weekend, you might not be getting as many miles as you would if you was the elite driver. You are guaranteed to be home every weekend with the support of a culture center on safety and integrity. Regional Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. Drivers are the core of our operation, hauling routine and consistent freight for a stable paycheck. Let's see what they got to offer. Self-determined earnings, full benefits, award and incentives, high density running areas, prime freight, optimal home time, home every weekend, consistent pay, ask about our pay commitment, up to 13K per week for regional prime drivers, cutting edge technology inside late model trailers, or trucks, I'm sorry. All drive-in, no-touch freight with no endorsements required. Man, that's regional prime. My name is Optimus Prime. So they do have, they they do have another uh another lane for you guys, and that is out and back home daily automotive now these right here i believe you have to stay in a certain area definitely not the area that i am from which i am from ohio but wait a minute though i think they do have a terminal in ohio if i'm not mistaken of course i'm gonna have to ask when i make that call but right now it's day cab drivers you're home daily with out and back driving, I mean, driving position. Westside Transport is celebrating their 45th year of operations by expanding our business within our home daily dedicated automotive division. This position is out and back pickup and delivery of auto parts with time critical schedules. If you live, if you live or if you live near the following cities, you will be home every single day. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Glenwood, Indiana, Levia, Levia, Michigan, Lima, Ohio. I don't live near Lima, Ohio, so I guess I won't be home every day. Apply now to claim limited spots and attend an orientation near you. Out and about gives you about 1K to 13K a week. Round the clock shifts for a six day work week, eight to 10 hours a day. Automated freight and consistent start and end time schedule sets. Pay time off 18 days per year. Well maintenance and warranted equipment. Medical vision and dental insurance options. 401K with company match. West side transport drivers. $2,000, no limit referral, and much, much more. They also have the new 10 4 Regional. I read you loud and clear. 10 4. What is 10 4 Regional? Y'all might ask. Well, let's find out on the bit board. 10 4 Regional. I read you loud and clear. 10 4. Now announcing the latest and greatest in regional driving positions. Get the best of both worlds running hybrid lanes, great home time, and equal as great pay. All home weekends, every weekend, guaranteed. You will be running freight that is both close proximity. You will be running. You will be running freight that is both close proximity to your home and longer lengths of haul supported by our perfect design pay package pay package let's see what they got to let's see what they got to offer home all weekend every weekend guarantee this one pays 55 to 70 cents cpm cpm plus flat rates for short hauls equal hybrid pay we're gonna have to ask about that 401k will company match up to six percent full benefits 
in cab paper scanning and more all you need is a cdl six months and schedule flex ability and oh man that is west side transportation i mean these guys right here i mean they get they got lots to offer so before we get into the call we're gonna have to go and see if we can find some dirt on this company let's go back to the bit board and see what's working at west side transportation is about i am of course on nd the score is three stars out of five and they only have one review and it's a pretty good review at that it's a let's see they give him this driver gives them a four and yes he is a current employee out of chicago illinois says here depends on what you're looking for they'll keep you moving all the time with very little downtime that's what i like that's what i'm looking for they haul a lot of scrap paper to international paper but there's one problem one problem though they don't pay tolls and route you around them hmm that might be an issue for me. That right there might be an issue for me. Now that might be an issue for me, especially coming from a company where I can run the tolls all the time. JNR Schwugel, let's you know I I I don't like bringing them back up, and I'm not sure if I am not sure if their situation is different from when I've been there. It's been about four years but i know jnr shugel don't run the toll during the course of my research of course i went and found uh facebook the company is on facebook as you can see west side transportation it is their phone number again is 800 677-5627 this is their uh this is their Facebook. You can also contact them through Facebook and get a little bit more information from Facebook. Now, with that said, let's get into the call. Hey Amy, how you doing? Uh my name's Sean. May I speak with a recruiter, please? Yeah, I am in recruiting. How can I help? Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. I oh, oh, too much feedback. Sorry. I okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, again, how you doing? My name's uh Sean. I'm a six year truck driver. Um, I was just on the website, uh, just got on the website because you guys sent me an email uh telling me a little bit about the uh the new 10 4 regional position that you guys have to offer. I'll read you loud and clear. Ten four. So, yeah. so if you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind, if I could take a, you know, take a little bit of your time to get a little bit more information about the company and the positions that you guys have to offer. Yeah. First, I want to see if I can find your application so I can see who, um, who uh, you know, has been sending you emails. Oh no, um, I I haven't sent in uh, an application. I believe that this is like a cold call or a cold application. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, I, so I, where yeah. do you, where do you live, Sean? I stay out of Ohio. Ohio. Okay. So let me see if Andy is available. He is actually going to be the one that's going to have more information for you on that location. Okay. Um, do you have a couple, do you have a couple moments to hold? Sure. Awesome, darling. One moment. Okay. 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 Sean? Yes, sir. How you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Sir? I, I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. So I, uh, I, I got this email, which made me go over to you guys, uh, website. And, you know, I also, I'm also in the Facebook group and I mentioned, uh, West side transportation to them in the, in the Facebook group as well. So I was just uh -huh. kind of, you know, I was just kind of wondering, uh, you know, I, was wondering what you guys have to offer uh and go over the uh the many uh positions that you guys uh is offering on the <laughs> website as well 
So is it all right? Did okay. I take a? Is it all right? Did I take a few minutes of your time to to pick your brain about uh about West Side transportation? Oh, absolutely, Sean. I'd be more than happy to discuss. You know, I just want to kind of make sure I got you there because you threw a lot at me there. Um, I just want to kind of we want to definitely it's absolutely fine to discuss our positions that we have available um, out of your area. Um, and then obviously we that uh, make sure that everything's going to work for you as far as what you're looking for. And um, if it's okay with you too, I'd like to get a little bit of information about you, Sean, and about like you know your experience, what you're looking for, and then we can discuss absolutely how we can help and. Um, help make this happen for you yeah that'll work that'll work you know me i'm you know i it, me you know i'm i'm pretty much like an open book but i like to you know <laughs> i i you know I, I i like to gather information because i'm not only oh, I'm, I, you know i'm not only you know doing research for myself being that i'm in a facebook group and everything uh, you know, I like to do research for others because the information that you give me today is the information that I'm going to pass on to them as well. Awesome, man. And, you know, honestly, I, I do appreciate that. And I'll tell you what, if, if you know, the big, the big, I'll, 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 um, I'll be at if, um, but if you do end up coming and running with us, Sean, and um, down the road, you know, as you, as you start putting information out there on the, on the Facebook group that you're part of, um, we do have a referral bonus. I just figured I'd mention to you as well. Okay. Um, that's it's uh, two thousand dollars per driver. Oh. So, you know, <laughs> okay. two thousand. How how was that? How how was that broke down though? Because I I came from a company that uh, that I did a lot of you know dr uh, you know I did a lot of driver referrals for uh, a pre uh -huh. a previous company that I was at. And theirs was like fifteen hundred for you know per driver, but yeah. the breakdown was like uh, the breakdown was like five hundred, then another five hundred, and then another five hundred on the finish. How how's you guys break down as far as the uh, as far as that goes for a referral bonus? It's a great question. Um, let me see if I still have that document. If not, I can get I can email it all over to you as well. Um, I'm just seeing if I have it here handy. Let me just one second here. Okay, okay. If you want to ballpark it, you can do that too. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I, I don't like ballparking. And here's why, Sean. You know, recruiters have, I, I admittedly, recruiters do their best to, or should be doing their best to give you guys accurate information, right? Exactly. And at exactly. the end of the day, I want to put everything in writing for you and put it in front of you. And, Sean, I don't, I don't ever talk to anything that I can't put in writing in your hands. You oh, know very I mean? good. Very good. Okay. So... Um, that's just a belief I have. You know, you guys out there are busting your back and doing you're doing what's what needs to be done to take to keep America up and running. And the last thing I need to do is be sitting here lying to you or making you feel not that you're not valued or you know valued as a person or as okay. a driver. So that's why I, I want. I always like to say everything I do, I put, I'll put it right in right in front of you. All right, that'll um, work. <laughs> Most guys don't seem to have a problem when I put it that way. <laughs> oh, that'll work. I, I so, appreciate I appreciate your honesty. Oh, you're welcome, and you deserve it. Um, so, Sean, as far as the payouts go, so the first installment, it, you're absolutely right. It's broken down into three installments, right? Mm -hmm. So the first five is 500 bucks on the delivery of the first load. Then you get the second 500 bucks at two months. And then the third one um, is a, basically goes 500, 500, then 1,000 at six months from the date of hire. So okay, um, just keep, keep that money in your, you know, keep that in the back of your mind that, you know, as you put put your as you as you send guys to me, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. How's exactly. That you exactly. You? That's that's how <laughs> that's how it worked. Okay, so so they so technically the driver the technically the driver has to be there uh, for six for months six in months. order for me to collect the whole. I mean, the full fare. <laughs> Yes, sir. Be my headhunter, Sean. Be my headhunter. That'll, that's not for a deal. That'll, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. All right. So. All right, can you give me a little bit of background of uh, West Side Transportation? Because you know, I, I I've seen plenty of you guys trucks out here. So is it all, you know is it all right to give me a background of the company? Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Um, so we're, we're honestly we're a mid sized carrier, uh, motor carrier. You know, um, we're about six hundred trucks strong. We've been in business, man. For um, this company's been around for like forty five years. You know, uh, we're still privately owned and operated, so we're not reporting to some you know, the shareholders and stuff like that. Um, the other great thing is our, the guy who owns the company, Don, um, he's a retired driver. 
So, you know, when he does things for like, you know, pay raises, um, buying trucks, it's all done for done from a driver's perspective and what's best for not only for the company, but what's best for our guys who are out there in our, in our fleet, you know, um, one of the great perks is that we always run up, we're running one of the most modern fleets out there right now. All of our trucks range between 2019 to 2021 semis, you know, day, and a, that's split between day cabs and sleeper berths, you know, mm-hmm. um, truck wise, we're running, uh, Cascadia's, uh, Freightliner, excuse me, Freightliner Cascadia's Volvo 670s. Uh, you know, really nice trucks, um, really nicely outfitted for the road. You know, we believe in making sure that if it's, if you're going if you're gonna be out there overnight, that you're gonna have a mini fridge. You know, the 120 volt outlets, power inverter. Um, you have any problems out there, or you want anything installed, come see us. We have a we have a full service shop, um, both in Columbus, Cedar Rapids. Um, just to name off a of few, Saint uh, Saint Paul, we'll install anything you want in the in the in the, in the sleeper berth for free for you. Um, that way, it stays under manufacturer warranty. Um, okay. Okay. So we get, trucks. Sorry, go ahead. So we got so everything in the truck is is all the amenities in the truck for us is all there as as you were saying. Exactly. Okay. Um, the only thing that's not there that guys sometimes want, are interested into the TV. That's at your discretion. You would need to provide the TV, but then we would be willing to install it for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm not a big TV person. I. You know. I got a. You know. I got a tablet that. You know. That I usually watch all my. Oh, yeah. You know. Watch all my stuff on. So. You know. Hey, I. You know. I'm you not a big keep TV. Up to date on that Netflix. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right. All right. So company forty five years. I, I, I'm. 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 I'm feeling you so far. I'm feeling you so far. Uh, the, the, so as far as orientation goes, uh, you know, once I get finished with, you know, filling out the application, getting approved, and then I come up for orientation, where's orientation held at? And, and how would you get me up there? That's a great question. So as far as orientation is concerned, as far as time frame on it, it's about a, it's somewhere between a day, day and a half, a day to half a day. Um, just to be upfront with you, it all kind of depends on if you need a road test, um, things like that. You know, if we're waiting for any reports to come back, generally we get you, we get you through and get you out by like three o'clock. It's, it's kind of our target time. Um, as far as like locations go, it's kind of based on where you live. Um, we do our best to minimize the amount of travel you have. Cause let's be real, Sean, you know, as much fun it is to be on a Greyhound bus said nobody ever, um, <laughs> you know, we we, <laughs> we just try to minimize that time that you have to be on that bus for. Um, as far as getting you here, I, per, uh, so as far as what we can pay for up front, um, bus and trains were what we can pay for up front for you. Now, if you did want to rent a car, you are welcome to do so, okay? Um, now, what the only caveat to that being is you do pay for that up front. And then when you get to uh, when you get to the orientation site, you turn in your receipt, and we reimburse you there uh, there at the there at the terminal. Uh, I can't say it's there on spot, but it's there on site. Does that make sense? Okay, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Um, and that whether that's a car, whether that's a plane, train, automobile, um, a rented car, that's that's at your discretion. Otherwise, if you did want to drive as well, we'd reimburse you for the gas. You know, okay, that'll so, work. That'll work. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Greyhound bus, no. <laughs> car yeah car perfect uh if i'm not mistaken are are you are you guys uh are you guys located out of ohio or is one of the terminals yes. is located in ohio yes oh okay no, so that uh, Columbus, uh, yep. so that will be so that will be the the terminal i will go to as far as orientation goes yeah where uh where in ohio are you from man uh, I'm from Cleveland, so I'm about two, Cleveland? maybe about two, two and a half hours away from Columbus. I'll just say about two and a half, three hours there from uh, Columbus. Yeah. Man, you guys have a hell of a, hell of a football game this weekend. To play. Uh, man, we 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 trying to we trying to get it in, man. We trying to get it in. We you know it, it's it's a long time coming. I mean, as far as the city goes, we're 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 just happy that they that where they at. <laughs> you know, we we can take you know we we we've been taking L's for so long, and we just so used to it. So. We're not trying to jinx the team. We're just we're just happy at the progression. For what you got. Yeah, we we are happy and thankful for what we got right now. So even if Man. they even if they even if they win, 
that's still a great thing. Even if they don't win, we are still proud of them because they, they was able to get that far. And then that shows us next year that with a little bit more tuning, a little bit more tweaking, we can go further. So I'm not going to lie to you, Sean. I, I'm in the, I, I, I 100% agree with your analysis there. The, uh, I, I, I was probably, we were actually just talking, uh, um, playoff scenarios earlier today, and I'm saying, you know, I think the Browns look really good. They look, they they're built the right way. Um, they're just they're they're about one year one year away. You know, they there's you know I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase winning culture, mm-hmm. but you just say you have to learn how to lose. You got to learn how to win too. Yeah. And so I I think Cleveland this year was that learning how to win year. Mm-hmm. And man, I, I I tell you what, you have a lot of young talent. You have uh, you have a head coach who seems to know what the hell he's doing, <laughs> and uh, man, I, I'm I'm worried because I'm an AFC guy, I'm a Dolphins fan, and man, I want nothing to do with the Browns. I got you, I got you, man, man. I I again, like I said, it's it's been so long. The team been through its ups, been through its downs, and now you know now it, it, even with the pandemic of 2020. You know, even out of that, you know, the Browns seems to be a bright spot for the city and for, for the sure. and, and for Clevelanders like myself, you know, that that was something that that gave us something to, you know, look forward to every week because, for you sure. know, a lot of a lot, a lot of Cle- you know, a lot of Clevelanders is stuck at the house and. You know, they, you know, though some is in a rut, some probably might be depressed or something like that. But when that Sunday come it's around, a spot for you guys. yeah, when that Sunday come around, they, they are, they're, they're bright, they're open, they're, you know, and when the Browns win or lose, you know, they, they, they take that with them throughout the week and say, yo, it's, it's, it's a good thing to be, a, it's a good time to be a Clevelander. <laughs> I'm into that. Let me do this for you, Sean. <clears throat> so I, I want to talk to you a little bit about you know your position that I'm looking at looking at you for and gather a little bit of information so I can send some send it over your way to you. Okay. First of all, Sean, let me go do this. Can I uh, grab your spelling of your name? Is it S E A N or S H A W N? It's S H A W N, but I, I I don't want to fill out the application or give my last oh, name no. just yet. Okay. No, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. And uh, Sean, I'm not asking to fill out an application. I'm just grabbing some basic information. Oh, okay. From you. Okay. Um, just so I can send over information your way. I got um, you. So, like, you know, I told you I want to put everything in your hands, everything in writing. So, you know, I don't have to ask for your last name. I, res- I want to respect your privacy and where you're at in the process here. Um, the only thing I would maybe ask for is an email address so I can send. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way. fine. That's fine. Does that work for you? Yeah, that's fine. You you ready? Yeah. All right, it's Lockout Men, L O C K O U T M E N at gmail.com. Gotcha, man. And like I said, I'm not going to harangue you or, you know, beat you up or say, you need to make a decision. No, that's not my style, yeah. man. Yeah, I, and I'm I, just like, I want to get just so I can get some information your yeah, way. Yeah, and I appreciate it. And like I said, this is just, you know, this is just information gathering for me. No, absolutely, man. All right. What other questions do you have, Sean? Uh, so we talked about. So you know, we talked a little bit about the uh, about the orientation, but uh, mm-hmm. I, I I still have my DOT card. Would I would I have to get a new DOT card when I come up there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. For the physical and everything. Yeah, we are one of the companies that did jump on board with that. Um, when you when you come to us, we we do pay for that up front for you. So we do request the DOT physical and, and the drug test, of course. Um, you know, so we pay for that for you. We're, you know, there in Cleveland, we have a ton of clinics that we partner with. Mm-hmm. So we would actually send we send you the forms. Um, you take it with you when you go to your appointment. They scan it and away you go with it. Okay, okay. What so, about uh, what well, a, what about the now you mentioned the drug test, uh, hair yeah. follicles or urine? Urine, urinalysis. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We, we find right now hair follicle just takes too long to come back. And we get, man, last thing I, I was talking to a guy who was stuck waiting on his hair follicle test for almost two weeks in a hotel. And that's not a great way to, that's not a great way to start a business relationship. Exactly. Especially, uh, it, it, uh, speaking of the hotel, uh, are we in a room by ourselves or do we got to share it with somebody or? You know, uh, cool. uh, okay. I would never make I would never make you share a hotel room, man. That's that's awkward enough. 
Okay, because <laughs> it's awkward enough just being in a hotel, you know. Yeah, because be, before before Corona season, uh, you know, majority of these companies was interested in you know sharing the sharing the room, and nah, I nah. I I wasn't I wasn't feeling that at all. Um, nah, absolutely not. So everything everything before be uh before I get there as far as pre employment goes. I, I will yeah. fill out everything before I get there, like online stuff. And then when I get there, I'll just pretty much grab the keys and go type situation. So, yeah, um, as far as like, um, so like orientation, basically you, you come in, we get you not, we get you through the class, right? Mm -hmm. Then we do the onboarding side of things. That's going to be handled through um, safety tends to do that. That's where you get your drive test, things like that done. Um, from there, um, you basically get your keys. Um, assuming all the all the background is done, we can do we actually start that. Like once you tell me, Sean, that you're gonna that you're gonna start that, you know, I, I get your reports, I get you approved, and I say, all right, when do you want to go? You say, let's say you wanted to start next week. Great. I would then take your application, send it off to my talent support specialist. She would then start pulling the reports for us, you know, reaching out to your your previous employers, getting all those verifications put in place. That way, like you said, man, once the once orientation done, we hand you a set of keys and say, all right. See ya. <laughs> All right, that'll work. Hey, you know. what about what about the dispatchers there? My my uh, my fleet yeah. managers there are are they former drivers themselves? Some are, most aren't. To be honest with you, um, that's that's a tough one because you know we are a younger company um, as far as like just employer employees go. Mm -hmm. um, so we do we while we don't know while not all of our fleet managers have a driving experience a lot of a lot of like our management upper man like the middle and upper management on it have been in the industry for many 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 years um and have tons of experience and um a lot of times like our, our fleet managers also rotate throughout the company like the guy who sits behind me um is a former fm you know so you know, it is one of those things where I, I respect the fact I, I understand why you're asking about it, but unfortunately, yeah, not it, just a few of them are probably former drivers. Most of them are, most of them are, are just fleet, are just got hired in as fleet managers. I I got you, I got you. So before I go, before I go into, before I go into CPM and pay, uh, you guys are a W uh, a W two company or a ten ninety nine company or both. W primarily W two, probably about ninety nine percent W two. Okay. Um, we we have a few owner outs, but they're on very 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 selective lanes. And we hire specifically for those lanes for owner ops. Okay. Um, and most of those are going to be um, like like Detroit. I know there's some out of Detroit area, mm -hmm. like pulling like Motor Freight stuff, like like uh, Ford Motor Company. Right, um, right. They're pulling for them stuff like that. But uh, over overarchingly, no, we are not a uh, um, we're not an owner op company. All right. Now you know, as you told me uh, before, you 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 want to see what type of position that would be uh good for me out of my area but as as i'm scrolling through your website uh and the mm -hmm. and the email that i got you have what is called a regional 10-4 home weekend yes, every weekend what is the difference yes, what is the difference between that and the and and the uh i think it's the regional prime because your home weekend mm -hmm. on that on on that one too so what's the difference between those two that's a really good question um <laughs> there, there there is a lot of overlap i admittedly there's a lot of overlap between the two positions right um including kind of like the schedule on home time um both positions get you home on the weekend um it, really when it comes to the regional 10-4 um especially out of that ohio market man um you're gonna it kind of comes down to freight and your running area with the regional 10 fours, we try to keep you um, keep you within about 500 miles um, of your home, right? Okay. So we're not running you all over the Midwest. Um, and the real part of that too is this: it's a more up tempo run, so you're making you're making more stops. You're making four to six deliveries. Honestly, making about four to six deliveries a week. Okay. 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 Um, now, with that with that said, one of the other differences in the two is that with the uh, with the regional 10 four. Your CPM is a just to be again being perfectly honest with you. Um, your your CPMs are fairly similar. The difference is, is the major difference between um, MWR or the Elite Prime Regional Prime that you were talking about or Regional Prime and the 104. 
is going to be the like I said is, is really the miles from the runs, right? Mm. Um, on the regional prime, you're making longer longer runs, right? Right. You're, you're going to have that, you know, a, a long just a longer drive time on it. The regional ten four is going to keep you more localized. Um, it's going to be more up tempo, um, and with that, the pay break, the pay scale is a little bit different. So while your CPM um, is going to be fairly similar between the two positions. The regional 10-4 offers what's called range pay on top of your CPM. So with a regional, you, because you're making these shorter runs, right? Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, on, when you get to the end, when you drop and hook, that takes time. That takes time off your clock, right? Time right. you could be driving making money. So we offer what's called range pay. Range pay is going to be a flat pay that we use to pay you for your time. Does that make sense? That makes plenty of sense. Okay. So... Your CP, think of it, if you want to think about it this way, CPM is what you pay, we pay you for holding that steering wheel, right? right. Your butt in the seat holding the wheel, <laughs> driving from A to B. Range pay pays you for your, pays you for your time. So mm. basically when you're there doing the drop, hooking up, doing your pre-trip, walking the truck, getting that, getting that next load out, that's what range pay covers. So. Think about it this way. You take a load 50 miles. That puts roughly $21 in your pocket. Okay? Okay. Range pay then kicks in on top of that, adding another an additional $65. So that $21 run is now an $86 run. Okay. Does that make sense how that math works? Okay. 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 So, that sounds... So, like that's... I said, it's, it's a little bit different way of thinking when it comes to pay than what guys are used to seeing. So it's, it's kind of once you understand it, it makes sense. But it's kind of getting that aha moment, if you will. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So as as it says as it says on here, uh, so as it says, that's where that's what it mean by hybrid pay. Yes. Okay. So yeah. I'm I'm a six year driver. So what what might I be starting at? Because it said the starting here is at fifty five and seventy cent. But where yeah. would where would I be starting at? So, the, what they're showing you there is is the combination of all three of all three ways you can make the money on the lane, right? Um, that's your your CPM, your range pay, and then your uh, accessorial pay, right? Your your other duties that you have to perform as rep repositions, you know, shuttle work, detention, those type of those type of pays that come on top of it, right? Right. So when you figure everything together, that's where you get that average CPM, seeing what you're seeing. Um, the easy way to the another way to think about it is your base CPM is going to be at forty three cent per mile. Whoa, whoa, um, wait, 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 what would be the base pay? The base pay is forty three cent per mile. Forty okay. forty three cent amount. Four, four, yep, point four three. Yep. Is that? And then you have. Is sorry, go is, ahead. is 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 that? for my experience or is that just for everybody that's coming in the door that that's for your experience okay the en an entry level driver at this position is at 40 cent per mile so you have your 43 and then you have your range pay on top of it that ranges anywhere from 80 to from 40 to 80 dollars per load so on top so when you figure in your your cpm your accessory pay, and then the average range pay, that's what we're getting, that 55 to 65 cents per mile. Okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a calm, it, a total pay is your, the, the numbers you're seeing there is the, is the accumulation of all three all three items of, uh, of that you can be paid for. Does that make sense? Now, does that, does, does that include every, every week, or is that just going to be like, some occasions I'm not going to be able to assess all the uh, all the additional uh, pays that comes in. You know, one week I'll just be at my regular 43 cent and then another week, then another week I'll be able to assess some other pays and all like that. Is, oh, no. is it fluctuated oh, like no. that? No, it, it's set up where if you pull a load, you get your range pay, your CPM and range pay are, are always paid out on for you, right? Oh, okay, so no that's matter, automatic. No matter what load you're on. Yeah, that's automatic. Range pay is automatic. Um, it's like a bonus thing that you have to hit. Now, um, yeah, so okay. you, you just, it's basically you're always going to get that range pay. You're always going to get that CPM. 
those two are always going to be on every single run. Does that make sense for you? Yeah, yeah. All right. So okay, good. now that's good. what that's that's what the regional ten for. Now what about what, what about the uh, what about the others uh, uh, position that you have? And before you before before I go before I go into that, um, this is like all regional. So this this is only like a certain uh, like is it like like the elite regional that you got right here. Uh, it says, you know, more miles. Uh, so would this be like, would the elite regional be like a over the road type regional deal that y'all just named it that? Or is it just going to be like in a certain region? Like if I just want to run the Midwest, Southeast, Northeast or something mm -hmm. like that. So the regional 10 four is actually going to be a, like I said, 500 mile radius to your home. Okay. Is generally where we keep our guys. Running areas um, for this run, um, you're looking basically the Midwest. So uh, let's see here. Ohio, you're probably going to see Indiana, maybe some Illinois. About as far south as you'll see is probably Kentucky, maybe Tennessee. Um, you're probably going to run into about central Pennsylvania is about as far as you're going to go. Honestly, probably if you don't, if you see past Pittsburgh, it would be a one-off situation. Um, honestly, out of Ohio, you're, you're set up great on that, um, on the Ohio 10-4 run. Um, the reason I say that is, is you're going to be pulling a lot of Whirlpool and PepsiCo. Um, nice thing about that, man, is, is that's all based. The, the furthest you're going to go to pick up a load, there's going to be, uh, is going to be, there's going to be Pittsburgh. So, um, tons of freight there. Nice thing about it is that they have a situation where, you know, let's say you miss a load or something like that, not a big deal. We can flip you to another one and keep you up and running. It's like I said, the regional 10 4 for people out of Ohio is a great run for them. They, they, the guys do really well. And nice thing about it is that it, it does have that guaranteed home time on top of it. Okay. Now, what about if I, now, what about if I want to run? to like other areas say for example I, I would like to go down to texas i would like to go down to florida uh minnesota what would i would now i'm assuming regional 10-4 wouldn't be for me but with the other but with the other regional positions that you have would that yeah. be for me i i would be able to say hey i want to go to nevada and and I will be able to run, you know, run it that way. Uh, you know, Nevada whether... might be a little Nevada and Nevada and Texas might be a little rough on the regional prime. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So even on the regional prime, we do keep you in the we again we try to keep you in the Midwest in that region. So you, admittedly, with a regional prime, you'll probably see Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois. Um, basically, if you take the interstate I thirty five, yeah, and interstate eighty, where those intersect, um, he heading east that's pretty much you're going to be your running area that kind of niche in the world um again you'll probably see some tennessee and kentucky as well okay. um but that's about as far south as we run you might see atlanta once in a while um but yeah i, I have a I, I strongly doubt from where you're from cleveland that we would run you on this run to get you out to like the nevada area just because we couldn't guarantee your home time gotcha okay all right well i'm i'm just i'm i'm just asking that because you know i like to do you know i like to do like staycations i would like to do a home time in in minnesota home time in florida mm -hmm. home time in texas so i was just saying you know if if i was on any other fleets i wouldn't have a problem asking my fleet manager saying hey you know this friday i want to head down to you know head down to texas yada 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 it shouldn't be no problem uh getting I mean, me down you're there. welcome you're welcome to ask your fleet manager about that one, uh, and I can find out a little bit more to find out what the options would be on that one, Sean. For okay, you, okay. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. You know, if you said like, "Hey, I want to run out to run run west," if they can hook you up on a load and get you out there. Again, it kind of comes back to the the, the 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 regional fleets tend to stay regional, and we like to keep those guys regional because of that guaranteed home time. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, that sounds. You know, with the with the different options that that I'm looking on here, it's look looking like it's uh pretty good the out and back uh position I, i'm assuming that wouldn't be for me because i'm, I'm assuming you, you that that's a day cab and you pretty much got to stay like maybe 50 miles or 50 mile radius away from the terminal that you guys offering yeah. at. yeah we try to keep you within 50 miles of the shipper uh 45 miles actually of the shipper um and we do that so that we can get you we get you to and from the yard or wherever you're storing your wherever that truck is ultimately going to be stored at we will try to do that just to keep those guys from minimizing the amount of time they have to drive off the clock you know like drive when they're driving their personal vehicle right to to the truck 
and home after the, after driving it because we try to minimize driver fatigue. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. All right. What what other what what other uh what what other payment to the driver that you guys offer? Like breakdown pay, holiday pay. Yep, yeah, both of those. Breakdown holiday. Um, I can get you a better breakdown of what those all what those what those numbers look like. Mm-hmm. Um, I can email that over to you. That's one of those that's probably e- e- easier to uh, just to email over. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Uh, what about all right? So being that this is all regional, five hundred miles away from my area, so I would I, I won't be looking at as many miles that I would if I was an over the road driver. Uh, what 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 type of miles I'm looking at? About twenty five, about twenty five hundred a week, give or take. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fair. All right. All uh, right. As far as mileage goes, um, I would say twenty five is going to be on the top end on the on the regional prime position. Mm-hmm. Um, Ten four guys are seeing between eighteen to twenty three hundred miles per week. Okay. 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 All right. Now you, we did talk about home time a little bit, but the question I didn't ask was. Uh, is my home time, is it a full two days, you know, Friday through Monday, or is it just a 34-hour reset? No, it's going to be a full day. So um, which one are we talking about? Just both of them? Yeah, both of them. On this one? Okay. Sorry to clarify there. So Regional 10-4, you have your choice, man. We can get you home Friday evening, and then you depart again Saturday, um, early Saturday, or, excuse me, early Sunday morning, or you can get home Saturday and then you would leave Monday uh, Monday morning. Now, the nice thing here, too, that I would mention to you is that <clears throat> these uh, um, you should know what time you're going to need to depart the next day mm-hmm. um, by the time you by the time you're coming up on your home time. So by the time you get home on um, Saturday, you should have your, your you should be under load. You'll probably be under load. And then you'll know what time you need to leave again, depart the next day to make your delivery or make your pickup. Okay. Okay. That'll work. And of course, uh, of course with that, we could take the, we could take the trucks home. Uh, what is, all right. As far as, uh, as far as, uh, personal conveyance, do you guys offer that on the, on the ELDs? Personal conveyance. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, I haven't heard that phrase before. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's PC time for us drivers. Uh, we can uh, we can we can use the truck as you know as for personal oh, reasons. You want to use? Yeah. The, no, we we do not allow that. The truck once the truck gets parked, it needs to stay parked. Oh, okay, okay, that'll work. That'll work. All right. Well, hey man, I you know this this is some good a information uh i would definitely take this back with me i i think uh, a few drivers would definitely be interested in that uh in in this uh type of setup that you guys got uh do you guys do you guys have an over the road position or is it just all broken yeah. down all, all broken down like this for the you know for the mat uh, to be for the maximum for you know getting the person home if they're interested in getting home I mean, if you want to do full over the road, man, we we have an over we have the traditional over the road, you know, the three to four weeks out at a time, um, and then we have one that we call elite regional. Those guys are out basically eleven to twelve days at home. Basically, it breaks down to at home every other weekend. Okay, okay, that'll work. That'll work. What about uh, what about dispatch? Is it is it forced or no? Yeah, we are under we are a forced dispatch company. I know that's a dirty word in driving. Um, <laughs> And I, I, and a lot of it comes from weather, you know, bad weather, bad situation, you know, situations where, you know, you feel like you have to run. And our, our kind of our company philosophy when it comes to inclement weather mm-hmm. um, is going to be, um, think about it this way, man, is more along the lines of if you have a, uh, if you don't feel safe driving, we would rather have you pull the truck over than risk, you know, having an accident, risk your life, risking someone else's life. Pull it over. Message your FM. We'll let them know what's going on. That way, again, you stay safe. Freight stays safe. Truck stays safe. I got you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that because you know a lot of a lot. That's where a lot of friction comes in at between drivers and fleet managers. You know, we're we're the commander of our ship, but you know that and that goes back to the question of is the fleet managers i'm dealing with are they drivers themselves because you know somebody that's sitting in front of a computer really don't understand 
of 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 a person that's sitting behind the wheel of an 18 you know 18 or 80 ton truck you know going up and down the going up and down the highways um man thank you very much for your time i really do appreciate it uh i did i, I did extend my research to uh to some reviews that's online and a couple of you know a couple of drivers uh oh somebody hold on right quick some somebody trying to call me and i can't get seem to get that okay there we go sorry about that <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> um yeah, as as I was saying, you know, it, it, it's it's it, what you guys got off. I mean, got to offer. I I would definitely take this back myself because you know I you know I'm I'm vetting a lot of other companies as well. But so far, uh -huh. so so far, so you know, so far so good with this one. But as I was saying about uh about the you know about the guys that that go back and you know leave reviews on you know places like Indie Glassdoor. You know, yeah. some some of them are good and then some of them are bad. So I guess my last question to you would be, uh, what's your turnover rate there? And what would you say about the guys that leaving bad reviews about your company? You know, as far as that's concerned, man, look, anytime you deal with an online review, you always got to take it with a grain of salt, right? Because you're, you're never going to hear about all the good things that Westside does, right? You're only going to ever hear the bad because it's a lot easier to go, to talk about negative situations than it is about positive, right? That's just kind of a human trait. Um, that being said, um, as, as far as turnover rate, we're pretty much on par with the industry, you know. Um, industry wide, I want to say there's like a world industry, like 150%, 156%, somewhere in there. We, we probably said right about 130%. Um, obviously, when you run so many different positions, guys are either, you know, guys don't just close things. Guys, you know, the best thing I can tell you, if you're upfront and honest with us as recruiters, we can give you a better idea that there's not going to be a problem that way when you come to orientation. Mm -hmm. There's no problems. The more information that you give us, the better we can the better we can vet you and that way we avoid those negative situations where you get someone into orientation and then all of a sudden well this popped up in the background this popped up you know four more accidents showed up that's where we that's where you know people get frustrated and tend to leave negative reviews in a situation like that gotcha gotcha well again man thank you very much man i, I really do appreciate it and like i said i you know i'll take the information that i gathered from you today as well as the uh as well as you know everything that you sent me via email i will definitely pass this on to uh drivers that might be interested in 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 a regional you know position like this mm-hmm for sure. And Sean, if it's okay with you, man, I know you're in a job search as well. And um, I definitely would love to continue to work with you. If it's okay with you, man, um, I'm going to send you over a ton of information here um, on our positions and what we have to offer. Um, I would just, the only thing I would say to you, man, um, is, you know, look, like I said, anytime I send this much information over, I like to follow up with it. No just problem. to make sure there's no questions on it. No problem. If it's cool with you, man, um, today's Thursday. Do you mind if I give you a shout tomorrow afternoon sometime and just touch base, may address any questions, concerns you might have? That'll work. That, that'll that work. That's That'll work. That'll be perfect. Groovy, man. Well, I'll touch base with you tomorrow afternoon then. Is the number the 216-673-3081? Is that still the best number for you? Yep. That's still the best number. West Side Transportation. Yeah. West Side Transportation. There you guys have it. What do you think about that call right there? Good information. Uh he was honest, upfront, and pretty much uh pretty much answered our questions, man. Listen, before I get into the in, into the outro, if you guys work for West Side Transportation, or have worked for tra West Side Transportation, let us know of your experience with West Side Transportation. Leave it in the comments below. And if you'd like to come on to the show, you can definitely leave it in the comments below. Hashtag come on to the show so that I will know that you would like to talk a little bit more about West Side Transportation and what they are doing for you guys. 
Now, is West Side Transportation good for you? I don't know. He broke down the actual starting pay because, you know, when you go on there on these websites and you talk to some of these people, it turns around and it it be like, okay, well, their their starting pay is fifty five cent to seventy cent amount, and you get in there and it's and it's not. At least he broke it down for you that fifty five cent to seventy cent amount is an accumulation of everything that they have to offer in these position uh, in these in these different positions. Uh, the key positions that we talked about, which was the ten four and the regional prime because they sort of overlap each other. Now, of course, if you're doing regional, they're going to focus on getting you home every week. So don't expect to make uh, a lot of miles. All right. With the regional, with the regional 10-4 though, is that you would get paid while driving and while sitting at the same time. So the regional 10-4 might be a little bit better for you if you're interested in getting home every week. All right. That's something to look into. Uh, unfortunately, I ain't get a chance to ask them about leasing, but you know, pretty much during the conversation, I kind of get that they're that they're not a lease purchase type company they do have um they do have information for uh drivers that's that 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 might be owner operators that might be owner operators for you hmm. yeah that might be the case for you um 401k match full benefits uh in cap scanner i mean uh, it, it just, I mean, it just sounds too good to be true. You know, uh, you, you're going to look like you're going to, again, you're not going to get that many miles. The bottom end is going to be at least 2000. Uh, so you got to definitely put that in consideration. If you out there looking for a position or looking for a company that you want to make good gobs of money, I would suggest that you look towards a leasing company because with that that gives you an opportunity to get in get your money and get out but just make sure that you understand that with leasing you're not going to get as much as you would with a company position all right west side transportation or west side transport what do you guys think is this a company for you let's find out give them a chance give them a call their phone number let me see if I can find their phone number. Hold on. Their phone number is 800-677-5627. They have plenty of terminals, uh, one of which is out of Ohio. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I... I know, I know I found them again, 800-677-5627. Definitely uh, talk to a recruiter specialist there. Get as much information as you please about West Side Transport. Again, leave your comments in the comments below of what you feel about West Side Transport. That's going to do it. That is going to do it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast. I really appreciate you guys joining me on this episode to talk about West Side Transport. You know what I'm saying? West Side Transport. Look. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. Make sure you hit the like button when you come into the door. This will be premiered. Unfortunately, this was uh, this was a request, I believe. I'm not sure if it was or wasn't. Um, unfortunately, they didn't, you know, they didn't get there. You know, they didn't get it in the way it was supposed to be in. So let me break how the request to get it in and to get your shout out. All right. So this is what you do. This is what you do. Let me just say that this is not sponsored. All right. This is the fifth year, fifth season of the Make the Call series, MTC21. Um, 
this year is different. It is based off of what you guys want to know. So in order to get your shout out, get it in. Hook me up with some coffee. The way you do that is cash out me. It's lockout, dollar sign, locked out men. In the cash app, leave the name of the company that you want me to call. All right, leave your name and the name of the company that you want me to call. So whatever, you know, whatever denomination that you feel that you feel that you want to get me something to drink, I would appreciate that. And then I will take that and put it into the next episode of the Make the Call series. It will be premiered uh within within that following within that following week. So if you want to see it beforehand, just let me know. I'll lift the premiere. And I'll let you see the call before everybody else sees the call. So get your, let me see. How how do I got this set up? Let me see. Hold on right quick. Hold on. I'm trying. Get your suggestions in for the next week's call. That's, like I said, that's all you got to do. You can leave your comments in the comments below of whoever you like for me to call. And I will just go and pick through and see which one is there. But if you want your call to be premiered that following week or following weeks afterwards, yo, hook a brother up with some coffee. And again, just... um. It's dollar sign lockout man and in the cash app, leave your name and the company you want called so that you can get your shout out at the end of the at the end of the episode. All right. You'll get a sign on bonus uh, Mac Anthem. Yeah get the Mack trucks three years or newer governed at 68 miles per hour home daily 80 percent drop and hook no touch freight 